Rejection can happen to anybody. You're not alone. Rejection can either have positive or negative impact on a person's life. Today, we are going to be talking about how to deal with rejection, whether it's from your family or your friend or from your romantic interest or from a job or a business proposal. Hello, my name is Peace. Welcome back to my channel. And without wasting much time, let's go to what we have for today. First things first, what is rejection? Now, rejection in terms of a romantic interest or from a friend's perspective or from your family member can be defined as the action of spawning someone's affection. In terms of a job or a business proposal, rejection can be defined as a refusal of a, an idea or a proposal. So I'm here to tell you that rejection has happened to a lot of people. In fact, a study was taken and found out that almost everyone has gone through rejection in one at one point in time you yourself ask yourself you cannot say yes to everybody all right so at one point in time in your life you have rejected someone indirectly or directly so do not take it very personal so that it doesn't affect you negatively when it happens what do you do now there are five stages of rejection and i want to believe that every one of us agree with it you know when rejection happens you try to deny the whole situation you'll be like no it does it can't happen to me Maybe, let me give him some time okay let me give that person some time and let me see whether the person will get through to me whether the person will call me back whether the person will come in whether the person wants to still talk about it you try to deny the whole situation and you do not look for a way to deal with this situation or to move forward you're just there you're wasting time trying to wait for that person you are still in the moment this is the time when it begins to dawn on you slowly and you begin to ask yourself some kind of questions like am i not perfect don't i have this don't i have that didn't i do this well and stuff like that so you begin to ask yourself or you begin to question yourself about those about the whole thing about the whole event the whole scenario begins to be in your head and before you know you are angry you want to revenge you want to do something to get back to that person okay that individual okay after you're angry after you try to deny it and then you get very angry either at yourself or at the other person what you try to do is to bargain now you sit down okay i'm saying this because it has happened to me quite kindly notes that some of these things i say are from my experience you begin to ask yourself what could i have done differently oh maybe it was my fault maybe i didn't do this thing well you understand maybe i wasn't soft on this person maybe i was very hard especially when it comes to a romantic interest You'd be like maybe i should have just waited and give him or her some time and then begin to bargain the whole situation that's what is happening to you at that point is just a stage of rejection okay you're looking at yourself and you're like no <laughs> it slowly begins to sink in Okay, at this point, I will suggest that you have family and friends around you. We're going to talk about it later when we're going to be talking about how to deal with rejection. You need to get depressed. You're always sad. And the funniest part of everything is if you're someone that is on social media, that's when you begin to see things that are relating or related to what is wrong with you at that point in time. So you begin to get very sad, very depressed in some very, very serious situations. You see people not even want to take care of their hair so people don't want to clean their house people don't want to talk to anybody just isolate yourself and in very very chronic and serious situations when people even take their lives okay so that's just a stage of rejection now if you can scale through the depression mode there is nothing again that can break you down so you accept the whole thing and to me, I feel like you should actually have accepted it from the very beginning because you know how you wasted your time doing all these four things. You should have just accepted your thing. But it's normal. It's what happens to humans. So you begin to accept everything. You accept it rather. And you say to yourself, okay, it has happened. Whatever. You know, let's just move forward, which you should have done earlier on. So that's the last stage of rejection. When you've come to that particular point, it means that you've reached the final stage of rejection. And girls, boys, wherever you are, you're listening to me, please kindly note that, like I've said before, rejection has happened or is happening to everyone. It's a situation that everybody can relate to. At one point in our lives, we have been rejected. So quickly, let's go to 
how to deal with rejection okay instead of going through all these all these stages instead of going through all these stages let's talk about how to deal with it when it happens knowledge your feelings accept it yes say to yourself that you know what i have every right to be angry i have every right to be sad i have every right to be pissed acknowledge your feelings tell yourself yes if you if you have a diary or a jota write it down and say to yourself that today i got so pissed okay and something happened to me okay so i'm noting it down i feel so bad acknowledge your feelings do not try to deny it at this point do not try to deny it acknowledge it that you are actually sad you are actually hot now sit down you may want to you know take a break go out or go somewhere and do this a very quiet place and reflect on the experience and okay you can say to yourself what really happened especially when it comes to a romantic interest what really happened in this situation why did this person do this to me okay what how what happened just you know just sit down sit down and reflect on everything not the place where you made mistakes and not where you need to improve yourself write them down take note of them so that you know you're in you're in a journey where you're trying to become the better self of you so note it down so that next time you don't repeat those mistakes again reflect on those experience reflect on it and do not regret it do not feel bad regression will not regretting things will not will not make anything better it won't solve your issues so do not regret anything rather just reflect on everything and tell yourself that yes it has happened and it has happened forgive yourself okay for all those mistakes for all those time you've wasted forgive yourself forgive whoever you need to forgive the person that hurts you just forgive the person now the thing is forgiveness is very very hard okay i'm talking i'm speaking from a place of experience like that happened to me personally people will come online and say that um just forgive okay but the thing is people will not talk about forgiveness if it's an easy thing you understand if something were easy like something was very very easy people will not talk about it it's when it's very very hard to attain or when it's very hard to do that's when people keep on talking about it so when people come along and say something like forgive i just want you to know that forgiveness is not easy i understand with you but that's the reason why we need to talk about it because once you forgive yourself once you learn to forgive you can overcome anything so forgive yourself forgive the person that hurt you okay and please when you do this kindly take someone along like speak to someone okay so that you know exactly what what you are forgiving that person for and so that you don't go back to that same thing that happened it's good to forgive but do not repeat the same mistakes again now if you don't have a hobby can just look for one if you have one already maybe you can just look for another one or you can just stay with that one do more of that thing that will make you happy and that will distract you okay i also want to say that you should make time for self-care to take care of yourself okay yes i was watching a video and it was about someone whose hair like an afro hair like mine has been made matted for more than she hasn't washed her hair for like a year now when the hairstylist was asking her what happened she said that she was depressed like what i said earlier yes and i understand what how it feels because depression can make you do a lot of crazy things so she refused to take care of herself and by the time she realized by the time she came to to heal herself came to, by the time she realized her hair was so bad that they had to cut it off now please take care of yourself the important part of everything is that you should be okay you should be healthy so this involves you taking care of what you eat kind of things you consume the kind of podcast you listen to and stuff so find a new hobby if you have to learn something new go ahead and learn something to distract you maybe something to make you forget about that person and if you have anything in your collection that reminds you of that situation or of that experience i like to say that you should dispose it for the meantime okay just dispose it temporarily Seeking support is very important when you are dealing with rejection because a lot of times people do not want to talk about it. They feel very shy that things like this has happened. Yes, I know. But it's very important to carry someone along. A trusted person could be a very close friend. It could be your, your, 
your family member okay it depends on who actually hurts you okay but if you do not have anyone around you i, I think i would suggest that you see a therapist talk to someone okay talk to someone about it seek support there are many support groups online there are many support groups around so just kindly register in one of them and you see people with similar situations similar experiences that would help you in your healing journey the last thing i'm going to talk about is healing please in all that you do strive to heal purify your mind everything i've just spoken about is towards healing is to make you heal okay so that you do not stay back in that particular situation and refuse to grow i know you're going to be fine if you follow all these points that i've talked about i wish you all the very best please the comment section is open so you can actually share your experiences or something you really want to ask for support for and my email in the description box i'm going to be dropping my email so that you can reach out to me and discuss something i'm open to helping you please do not forget to like this video yes give me a thumbs up and if you're new here kindly subscribe to my channel to see more of this okay to see more videos like this and to support me please give me a like and share this video because it helps with the algorithm and you'll be supporting me when you do that thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye